And to do that, I'd like to invite Phil back up to the stage. Phil? Thank you. So just half a year ago, we introduced the third generation iPad with its retina display, and it's remarkable. So that's why it's more incredible that we're sitting here today, just over half a year later, to talk about the fourth generation iPad. It's amazing the pace the team is at, the pedal of the metal engineering attitude is just so thrilling. And this fourth generation iPad, it is a powerhouse. So what's inside it? A new chip, the Apple A6X chip, delivering even faster performance. We were already so far ahead of the competition, this just, I can't even see them in the rearview mirror. <laughs> it doubles the performance for CPU tasks. That is a huge jump ahead. It also doubles the graphics performance. They were not close to us, and now we've doubled that again. In addition, we've added a new generation of Apple Image Signal Processor for tasks like face recognition and image stabilization. So all of this power, two times CPU power, two times graphics power, new image processing, and it's energy efficient. The same 10 hours of battery life of the previous generation. We're also updating the FaceTime front side camera to FaceTime HD with 720p. And the cellular version has LTE with greatly expanded coverage. We're working with many carriers around the world to support LTE performance on this new fourth generation iPad. Many of the carriers you know and some new ones to support iPad like Sprint here in the US and KDDI in Japan. We've also updated the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi performance as well. It's up to twice as fast. It's 802.11a, b, g, n, and n is 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. We've updated the connector to our latest connector, the lightning connector. It's 80% smaller, all digital, reversible, and compatible with devices now being created for iPhone 5, iPod Touch, iPod Nano. We've added some new cables as well. For customers who want camera connections, we have Lightning to USB and Lightning to an SD card reader. For video out, there's Lightning to HDMI and Lightning to VGA. And all of this technology and performance is, of course, based on a system with this breakthrough new Retina display for which there's nothing as beautiful in the market. The fourth generation iPad comes in both black and white. And it starts with the same configuration as the last generation, 16 gigabytes, Wi-Fi, for $4.99, so twice the performance, new features at the same price. Thank you. And cellular as well, the same price, starting at $6.29. So if the third generation iPad was the best tablet in the world, the fourth generation just extends that lead. And it's all about helping customers to learn about this great new technology and find new ways to use it that they never dreamed of. So what else can we do to help customers find even more uses for iPad, to use it in places they never imagined, in manners they never have before? <laughs> I think we can tell by your excitement you know what this is. <laughs> this is iPad mini. And, and what can you do with an iPad mini that you can't already do with the amazing fourth generation iPad? Well this, you can hold it in one hand. Now this just isn't a shrunken down iPad. It's an entirely new design with a beautiful aluminum and glass enclosure where every detail is finely crafted and made just exquisite. And the process by which they're manufactured are at a level of tolerance is unseen in our industry. There is nothing as amazing as this. 
this incredibly thin and beautiful iPad mini. Beautiful from every angle, incredibly thin and light. Would you like to see one in person? This is iPad Mini. Look how thin that is. Amazing. Here, let me tell you a lot more about it. So this iPad Mini is just 7.2 millimeters thin. That's about a quarter thinner than the fourth generation iPad. To put it in context, it's as thin as a pencil. That's thin. It weighs just 0.68 pounds. That's over 50% lighter than the previous iPad, fourth generation. So in context, what can you compare that to? It's as light as a pad of paper. We were going to say a book, but books are much heavier. <laughs> so we came up with a pad of paper comes in black and white, the white with silver, the black with a slate back. It's beautiful on both sides. But I think one of the biggest questions people wonder is, what screen size did we pick and why? And the team worked really hard thinking about this. We want an iPad that's capable of running all that amazing software written for iPad without developers having to do any work. We wanted it to be smaller such that it could be thinner and lighter, as you can see, but not so small that it stops being incredibly usable because the iPad is the most usable of all these devices. So let's look at it side by side. Here is the current iPad 2 next to the iPad mini. The iPad 2 is 9.7 inches on the diagonal, iPad mini 7.9. So that's easy to remember, right? 9.7, 7.9. And the pixels are even easier to remember because they're exactly the same. The original iPad, the iPad 2 are 1024 by 768. And the new iPad mini is 1024 by 768. That means all of the software created for iPad all works on the iPad mini, unchanged. And it's great to use in both the portrait and landscape position, which our customers love to use it in both manners. So it's great for reading your email and responding to your email and surfing the web. It's great for managing all your photos and sharing them with friends and family. It's fantastic for kicking back and reading a magazine or a book on. It is amazing to sit there and hold it and do a FaceTime HD phone call on something so thin and light. It's great for all of your iWork applications, Keynote, Pages, Numbers, it's fantastic for all the iLife applications, iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand. I mean, it is so much fun to sit there and play multi-touch software instruments in GarageBand on this thin and light iPad. And all of those applications work wonderfully on it. So if you're a customer who likes to use Facebook all day long, you're going to love using Facebook on the new iPad. If you love creating content with applications like Paper, an amazing drawing application, you're going to love doing that on iPad mini. If you love playing games, playing incredibly amazing games like Real Racing 2 are incredible on the new iPad. In fact, I could sit there here and do 275,000 examples for you, and I would love to, but we don't have enough time. They work amazing on iPad mini. No one else can say that with their tablets. In fact, others have tried to make tablets small on the iPad, and they've failed miserably. These are not great experiences. Well, why? Let me give you an example. So here we have iPad mini on the right and an Android tablet on the left. This is the latest, greatest, most favored, reviewed new device. So let's compare them. Well, first, let's just look at the bezels around the display. Ours, the iPad mini, is made of aluminum. And we've worked hard to make it thin so it's comfortable to hold and use with one hand. Theirs, made of plastic. It's thicker. In fact, the entire product, that Android product, is thicker and heavier than iPad mini, even though it has a smaller display. So let's look at those displays. On the diagonal, theirs is 7 inches. The iPad mini is 7.9. That doesn't sound like a lot more, does it? Well, that's on the diagonal. The actual area of the display, 21.9 square inches for the Android tablet, 29.6 for the iPad mini. The iPad mini is actually 
over a third larger display area, 35%. That's a huge difference. And it doesn't stop there. What's the number one thing people do on their iPads? Surf the web. We love to surf the web on our iPads. So here's surfing the web. This is a popular museum, the Guggenheim Museum, and visiting it in both browsers. But you can see there's things around the browser. There's tabs. Android has some software controls on the bottom of the display. So let's remove all that noise and just look at the web pages. You can see a huge difference. The iPad mini is about 50% larger for surfing the web, holding your portrait orientation. That is a gigantic difference. Yet the iPad mini is thinner and lighter. As I said, many customers also like to use it in the landscape orientation. So let's turn them sideways. Let's remove all the noise around it. Here's your web pages. The iPad mini is two-thirds larger to surf the web. There is a gigantic difference in these products. And it doesn't stop there. There's all those third-party applications. As Tim told you, we have these amazing applications for iPad users. And we've learned, we have over 700,000 applications that can run an iPad, but customers love the ones written for iPad, designed for that screen, over 275,000 of them. What does the other platform have? They have phone applications stretched up, not tablet applications. So for example, if you like to hang with your friends in Yelp, you get a great experience on iPad mini, you get a scaled up phone experience on that other product. There's a big difference. If you like to shop on eBay, a huge difference between what you can do on an iPad and on these other products. If you like to listen to music in Pandora, the differences are night and day. If you like to go search for videos to watch in Vimeo, a great experience, not great experience. If you like to plan your trip on TripAdvisor, an incredible experience on iPad mini, well, you know, right? <laughs> so we can go on and on. So let's, let's talk a little bit more about what's inside iPad mini. It is a great iPad. In fact, the technologies inside are equal to or better than the iPad 2 in every way. There's an amazing set of technology that make this just in a great iPad. First, there's an Apple A5 chip, a dual-core A5 chip that has more than enough power to drive this incredible mini display and give you great performance for all your applications and games. It has a FaceTime camera now better than what we had in iPad 2, a FaceTime HD front side camera. An even bigger difference on the camera on the back side, a 5 megapixel EyeSight camera. So you can take beautiful 5 megapixel photos or 1080p HD video. That's far in advance of what we had on iPad 2. The wireless has advanced greatly, too. It has the same LTE capabilities that you see in our new fourth generation iPad, LTE wireless. We have the faster Wi-Fi as well, 802.11 ABGN and N at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, so twice as fast Wi-Fi. We've built in that lightning connector, so it's compatible with the accessories being created for iPhone 5, the fourth generation iPad, iPod Touch, and iPod Nano. And all of this technology, all this incredible capability in such a thin and light device, the team has worked really hard to get you the same battery life, 10 hours of battery life, just like the fourth generation iPad. So hopefully, <laughs> so hopefully, as you've been hearing about all these features and performance and capability, you see it is every inch an iPad. So we've created a video to tell you a lot more about it. I'd like to play that now. From the very beginning, the iPad was designed to be very powerful, very capable, but also remarkably simple to use. So our goal was to take all the amazing things that you can do with a full-size iPad, but pack them into a product that is so much smaller. And that's what we did with the new iPad Mini. One of the things that makes iPad so incredible is that there's almost no end to what you can do with it. So when we decided to make the iPad Mini, we wanted to make sure it had all the features that make iPad so magical. 
We began with a display that has the same resolution as the iPad 2. So all your apps and content look and work the same way. And at 7.9 inches, it's small enough to fit in one hand, but it's still large enough to give you that rich, immersive iPad experience. It has a dual-core A5 chip for fast, fluid performance, both FaceTime and iSight cameras. It gets a full 10 hours of battery life, and it runs more than 275,000 apps made just for iPad. These aren't scaled-up phone apps. These are powerful apps that take full advantage of iPad Mini's beautiful display. You can access all your favorite music, movies, and TV shows from the iTunes Store. One and a half million books on the iBookstore, and over 5,000 magazines and newspapers on Newsstand. And another thing we're really excited about is that iPad Mini comes with FaceTime HD. Seeing your friends and family in high definition makes you feel like you're that much closer. If all that we had done was take the original iPad and just reduce it, all that you would be aware of was, was everything that was just missing. That there is inherent loss in just reducing a product in size. And what we did was we went back to the very beginning and we took the time to design a product that was a concentration of, not a reduction of the original. We felt strongly that 7.9 inches was exactly the right display size, but it became clear that we had to reduce the width of the borders so you can still pick it up and easily use it with one hand. We have continued to develop our unibody process there are essentially two parts to the enclosure, the glass and the aluminium. And that junction where the two parts actually come together is incredibly important. The diamond cut chamfer meets seamlessly with the glass. And I think it's a beautiful detail that further reduces parts and actually makes it more durable. We also designed an entirely new smart cover for the iPad mini. By eliminating the separate aluminium hinge, we now essentially wrap the iPad mini in a single, simple colored material. The biggest challenge that we faced was incorporating all of these great features in a much smaller and lighter device. In order to do this, every part had to be custom designed, starting with the display. The glass on the front and back are only 0.2 millimeters thin. The touch subsystem is a mere 0.12 millimeters thin. It weighs half as much as any we've ever done before. Beyond the screen, we took some dramatic steps to maximize interior space. It has the largest and thinnest single cell battery we've ever designed. We've designed a smaller motherboard to house the powerful A5 chip and built in the new smaller lightning connector. We also redesigned the iSight and FaceTime HD cameras and they allow you to take amazing photos in HD video. We've been able to build all of this technology into a device that is only 0.68 pounds and 7.2 millimeters thin. All of these efforts combine to make a product that is incredibly thin and light and has absolutely remarkable levels of fit and finish. And I think the result is an extraordinary iPad, one that will be used in so many different places in so many different ways. The iPad Mini is every inch an iPad. As you saw, it comes with a, a great line of accessories, including these optional smart covers that come in blue, green, pink, light gray, dark gray, and even a great product red one as well. They're smart so they work with the software intelligently and they're great to use in every angle. And they really complement this incredible new iPad mini. The iPad mini starts with a full 16 gigabytes of memory and the Wi-Fi configuration will be priced at 329. Of course, that is the lowest price yet for an iPad, helping us to reach even more customers. So this is the iPad lineup. iPad mini it starts at $329, iPad 2 at $399, iPad 
fourth generation with a retina display at 499. Of course, there are many configurations of memory you can choose from, so there those all are, the Wi-Fi configurations, and then, of course, cellular configurations. So there's something in a wide range of price for everyone in each the most amazing best iPad or tablet device that anyone, anyone has offered. Now, if you want to get your hands on one, how are you going to do that? Well, both iPad mini and the fourth generation iPad be able to start to pre-order this Friday on October 26th. And the Wi-Fi versions will ship first just a week later on November 2nd to a large list of countries. Here they are. And then about two weeks later, we'll start to ship the cellular versions, first in the US and then gradually around the world. Of course, like all of our products, the team works very hard to make sure this is environmentally friendly, the iPad mini and the fourth generation iPad, arsenic-free display glass, mercury-free display, BFR-free, PVC-free, and of course, highly recyclable. So this is an amazing new addition to our iPad family. We're going to be so excited to tell customers about it if they don't already know how exciting it is right now, streaming this live on the internet. And we're gonna add a TV, a TV ad that we're gonna run and introduce customers to it in a really simple and fun way. I'd love to run that for you now. Thanks to the ad team for that. They just really came up with the most creative way to introduce an iPad mini to everyone who already knows how great iPad is. And that's iPad mini. Let me turn it back to Tim. It's very cool. We told you earlier this year that you would see some incredible innovation from Apple across the year.